Hey, attention crypto gossipators, things are about to get interesting. Remember, not financial advice. What's up? Hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone's having an amazing day because I am as usual, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. So, guys, there is a very important point that needs to be raised as usual. And this is one regarding bone, your strategies, your plans, your investments, everything, okay? Everything that is important. And, uh, guys, you know, as I've said many times, this journey was going to be long in regards to bone, but it was going to be worth it because we know what the end goal of this journey is. We know exactly where it needs to go, where we have to stand and where we'll get to. OK, and that is very simple because we've got Shibarium on our side and Shibarium is supposed to take us to levels that we have never, ever seen before. Right now we're in beta. We're testing things out. We're seeing if there are any flaws, any weaknesses, holes, things need to be tested that's fine that's fine i'm ready to wait for it but there's always been the question of at what point are you going to cash out at what point would you be satisfied with okay so we've always talked about that specific number and some people have said fifty dollars a hundred dollars thousand dollars everyone's got their own little uh you know strategy but we've never talked about the strategy of waiting a specific amount of time and then just cashing out because some people it, it turns out that some people are doing that so for example i know some people that are planning to cash out at a hundred dollars per bone okay and i've always also heard of people that are cashing out regardless of whatever happens in exactly two years or exactly three years okay so they're cashing out based on a time frame they're not even looking at the price that much but they care more about the time frame so i don't know what your plans and what your strategies are right now but i would be very curious if you know that was something that could actually affect your strategies and your plans the time frame would you consider that more important more important to you know look at uh, the time and plan it out by time so for example you know you took out a year or two years or three years some people they like to do their strategies based on that because they have something else planned afterwards okay so it's like you know imagine if you've got your next 10 years of, of your life planned out in terms of investments and you are ready to dedicate two years towards bone is that something that you would be interested in is that something that you are implementing i'd be very curious to know so let me know down below because at the end of the day bone could go you know many different ways you could also uh trade and uh, look at bone in different ways and plan it out the fact that it's going up is undoubtedly but but the question here is how are you going to cash out what point are you planning to you know uh, stop at what point would you take out you know a, a little part of it so all these strategies all these plans are important and this is why you know from the perspective of me of an investor like yourselves i would i would love to hear about your uh, your strategies is it just purely on numbers are you just working here based on you know uh cashing out here at 10 then taking out another percentage at 20 then building it up a certain way are you buying back at a certain number have you got everything written down you've got some notes i don't know in an excel i mean how have you planned your strategy out because I know it's very detailed and this is probably for the most sophisticated investors, but why not? Why not? This is how many people make their money. I mean, look, look at all these hedge funds, all these major investment institutions. Guys, I can tell you right now that they have everything planned out, you know, step by step in emergency situations, in best case scenarios, in external situations. They've got everything planned out. This is how they are going to be operating. So what about you? What is your strategy? Where are you taking all of this? OK, um, also, uh, does time time itself affect you uh, a lot? I mean, do you just operate based on time you just say hey you know i'm giving this three months then i'm giving another nine months and then i'm giving it i don't know three years is that something that would be more relevant to you i mean uh you know for me personally it, it is it is very interesting okay but i don't know if i could hold it just purely on time okay because i mean at the end of the day if bone was to hit a thousand bucks uh in a few months It'd be very tempting for me to cash out. Very tempting. Although, you know, I could have a plan of five years. 
guys a thousand bucks per bone is a thousand bucks per bone like it hate it or even expect for it to grow more that's an opportunity that you know it would be very very painful uh to miss out on imagine if you were to wait for longer and it started going down so you just never never know is there a right moment at which you have to exit or is everything based on a time frame okay so really um start thinking through it uh do you have also like i don't know an emergency situation where you see it as an absolute emergency uh and you are gonna have to leave or emergency for uh buying up um i mean these are also important factors that need to be considered i mean look at this so if we were to look at the price right now 0.74 i know maybe it's not going to be the same uh by the time this video comes out but imagine uh it goes down to 0.5 is that a signal for you to literally start loading up triple the amount you're loading up or double or are you uh, just sticking to the bag that you have already uh you know acquired last year let me know down below also what if it dips down to 0 0.3 0 0.2 what if it suddenly goes up to ten dollars does that mean we need to start loading up even heavier because uh shibarium still hasn't come out and it's already at ten dollars and we know that shibarium is going to give it that extra boost let me know down below as well okay or the whole community so we can talk about it also a very um important point uh that needs to be taken into account is that uh, right now as we are in beta any little piece of news that comes out could be detrimental and could really affect it it could be very positive and it could skyrocket or uh, it could be one that gives us another opportunity to load up because the price would go down but the news here is you know is waiting to come out because we it looks like we've been flowing around more or less the same number i mean if i was to open up the 14 day chart i mean guys look at this this has been more or less the same 30 day chart yeah there was a point where we went a little bit over one dollar but guys it's all more or less the same okay a few cents up a few cents down uh but we get the point okay it's the same same type of level uh so let me know about your plans is it is it on the time frame uh, are you here waiting for specific periods of time have you got some other investments planned out uh, have you ever invested that way where you said hey i'm investing into this i'm giving it two years regardless of the price then i'm taking out exactly in two years so pretty pretty much you know programming uh your your algorithms to cash you out at that specific time or is it always based on price that that is what motivates you and what keeps uh you going uh because right now everything is so wishy-washy we don't really understand how far it could go we all know it's going up that's the great thing this is why it's got so many loyal investors that's why we've got such a loyal community that's why we're so tight but the question here is you know how high up uh, is it going to go and where is the the stop signal and where do we you know start uh, going all the way to the moon and transferring our uh, lives and creating generational wealth so let me know down below also don't forget to turn that notifications bell on as so many videos are coming out it is so important we got so many interesting things you know uh, information in regards to shibarium and bone i don't want you to miss it out because otherwise you know the the uninformed investor the investor that doesn't take an interest uh, will most likely make less money the most informed investor always tends to make more money because they understand how to invest what's going on and they can make some relevant decisions and all it takes is a few minutes of your you know daily schedule guys very very simple okay so as usual i just want to say a big thank you to everyone you know i appreciate all the support and i'll see you in my next video peace out